right, Mama, you have had some really important conversations with your daughter, and today you're going to be talking about obedience. Now, that can be a trigger word for a lot of us, especially if you come out of a more legalistic or strict background. There's been some harm done with that word, but that word is actually a love word. God loves us so much that he gives us this wisdom and says, trust me, I know the way, the best way for you. Now, he doesn't like say, I, wouldn't this be great if he gave us an exact roadmap for you and your daughter? That would be amazing. But his Bible, the truth, the love letter he wrote for us has some incredible principles and some very specific plans for us. And so part of this conversation with your daughter is helping her to understand the heartbeat behind God's heart for her, as well as your heart for her, and why during her teen years, obedience is actually a sign of trust. Can we trust that God's timing, the way he made us, the things he's doing in our life, the things he's bringing in and out of our life, can we trust that they're good and that he's got good plans for us? So when your daughter's about ninth and 10th grade, she's thinking about things like the school dance, uh, boys, can she get her homework done? Is she gonna make the team or the school play? Those are things that are most important to her. And yet there's this tension of trusting that God has a plan for her and also trying new things, risking failure. You know, think about the different places that her friends are at right now. In my own daughter's life, she's wrestling with the boy thing. We talk a lot about waiting and trusting God for the plans he has for her and not just dating to date. Every girl wants to be seen as beautiful and to have a friend, um, somebody to laugh with and to do things with. And there's that normal attraction going on at this stage of her life. But we just talk a lot about, can you trust God's timing? Not just to have a boyfriend to have a boyfriend, but to believe that his timing is good. And it might be way later in your life when you'll actually meet somebody who's interested in you and you're interested in them. Or it might be next month. But either way, talk to me about it. That's the conversation we're having. Can you trust God that his plans are good and that he's using all of the things in your life to mold you and to shape you for his greater good? It's really hard for teens to think beyond today. We have to remember that their brains are upside down. They're being remodeled right now from about age 12 all the way to about age 25 to 26. There's a lot that's going on in their brains. And one of the main shifts is that they're making a lot of their decisions out of their amygdala. Now, that's a big word for some of us, but all that means is it's this little part in our brain where all of our primal reflexes come from. It's when we're hungry, it's our sex drive, it's our emotions, and a lot of their decision-making is coming out of that place of their brain. So we're just trying to slow them down, engage a little bit more into the things that are important to them, and to say, you can trust God. Trust me that I've got a little more wisdom also. I've lived a little life. Let's talk about the things that you're wanting to do, the things you're wanting to engage in, and hopefully we can help get our teens through these really impulsive years with some good decisions. Um, And when they've messed up, I hope that you're giving them a lot of grace and place to ask forgiveness, to reflect back, and to know that there's a lot that God will use, even those mistakes in shaping and molding and creating his plan that he has for them. He's a good, good father, and he loves you, and he loves your daughter, and he chose you to be her mom. So hang in there. These conversations are important. Lean in, and remember, if you don't do anything else but just listen to her, tune in and and learn more about who God made her to be at this season in her life, and then celebrate. Mirror back those, those things that you see in her. It's vital for her to know that she is good. She's made in the goodness of God's image. And she can trust God to keep molding her day in and day out. I am so grateful. I say this every single month because I am. I love that you are walking with your daughter. It's rare that you're having this type of intentional conversations with her. So hang in there. God is using it, and I'm cheering you on.